Making lasagna is a pain in the rear end, but not when you do it on a sheet pan. Let me show you how. So I have a big pot of boiling water here and you need a big pot because you need room for all of the lasagna noodles. I always want your pasta water to be salted like the sea, so you can put a lot of salt in there, more than you would think. So since we're cooking this on a sheet pan like a casserole, we don't want these noodles to be whole. So we're gonna break them. Woo! And I'm gonna put the whole pound in here. Boil them for five minutes. A rimmed baking sheet, also known as a jelly roll pan. You're gonna oil it, like so. Oil, swish around. You can just use a bag of frozen chopped spinach, which is what I did because I'm lazy. Uh, this is a 15 ounce container of ricotta. In this bowl, I have six cups of like a tomato meat sauce. I made a huge batch this morning in my Instant Pot. That recipe is on my blog. It's called Instant Pot Sausage and Mushroom Bolognese. You can just saute a pound of ground beef or ground sausage and add one of those big jars, like four jars of tomato sauce, and that's all you have to do. There are six cups in here, but my recipe calls for four because my husband likes everything saucy. I'm sure there's a better way to drain this, but this is how I'm doing it. Taking the noodles out. It's okay if they're still a little bit wet. Throwing them in here with the sauce. Arm, handful of mozzarella. Let's save the rest to top it with. And give it a good stir so some of that cheese melts in. Ready, set, dump. All right, now we're gonna dollop this ricotta on top. And you know how when you make lasagna, everybody fights for the crispy edges? This is gonna have a bunch of crispy edges. And to finish it off, we're just gonna top it with a little more parm, some more mozzarella, and then we'll bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes.